Dear Bryce, or my honey, as Jackson says, it's no secret that I had a life before you. As you know, that life came with some hardships, but also the greatest joys of my life. As I sit here thinking about you, I realize how far we've come and how much you have helped me. I knew from the moment that you met Jackson that you were what I had been praying for. You were the man that I prayed for during some of my darkest moments. I thank God every single day that he brought me so low in order to build me back up. As I sit here and try to think of how to describe the words, emotions, and feelings that I feel about you and Jackson, they just can't be put into words. They say that young girls dream about their wedding day, but I believe boys dream about it just as much. I have waited my entire life for this day. You and Jackson are my world. It's so crazy to think that you were created for me just walking around on this earth, throwing a football around for so many years. You balance me out, you keep me grounded. You have helped me not only become a better person and a better significant other, but also a better mother. You are my everything and I can't wait to call you my husband. You are my soulmate, my other half, and the piece of my heart I never knew was missing. You may kiss the bride. I now present to you, Mr. and Mrs. Bryce Curtis. When I asked your mom for your hand, I told her I couldn't promise her that I would be able to buy you the world. But what I did promise her was that you and Jackson will always eat before I do, have clothes on your back before I do, and have a roof over your head before I do. The unconditional love that you show me every day is the love that I do not deserve, but I need. This is what makes our relationship. Always remember, you are beautiful, you are so, so smart, and you are so loved by so many people, including me. Please make some noise for the brand new bride and groom.